So if you're a new subscriber to the channel, thank you very much. I know I've had a run of new subscribers lately, and I just want to thank everybody for being here and uh, being part of this journey we're on. And I have been out of town for a week. I haven't been able to post anything. And I have had two horrendous experiences lately with the Nations Cup. And I have tanked my driver rating. Yes, I'm down to a D. I decided to give this Toyota Gazoo Cup a chance to see what it's all about. And man, is it fun. Welcome to the Kaibo. Let's get right to it. We're here at the uh, Suzuka racetrack, and I have qualified, oh my, <laughs> 15th place. I don't want to talk about it. It was just horrible. Standing start, I'm in the back of a D lobby, and I get uh, a couple of positions right off the get-go when a couple people were asleep at the wheel, jump up to 12th, and we'll head into what has to be a chaotic turn one here at Suzuka. And yes, there's some shenanigans, people going off, ghosting right on through me. We got to look at this guy who just ghosted through me. What's his name? Wi-Fi password. Okay, we're going to look out for him because he is a bull in the china shop here. And we're going to come... Just we're, we're just trying to survive this. Just You know me. I have to just survive the first lap, and it looks like that's uh, what I'm trying to do a lot of ghosting up ahead a lot of bumping more bumping this is nothing but trouble and I have a run on them and I'm suddenly in this gaggle of cars and I don't want to be here I'm gonna lift a little bit just to ease up just so we don't go through here side by side that's a death sentence and we will survive we got clowns to the left of me jokers to the right here I am right behind Wi-Fi password as we're heading down here toward the hairpin lap one of an eight lap race it's just a sprint and we're in this uh this what is it a, a toyota some sort of toyota anyway a lot of roll it has a lot of balance you have to be careful uh, with this car at the end of lap one i'm still alive and still in ninth place well that's good i've increased by six positions and still behind wi-fi password as we begin lap two we'll go down here get all the slipstream we can okay keep it together through here that's right I see more more bumping now it's gonna get crazy all of a sudden here uh, this guy, whoop, tried to go around him, mostly went through him, thanks to ghosting. Got bumped by this guy, and, and he just... We gotta take another look at this, because I was not having it. So I get up next to him. He's just running roughshod through the whole thing here. He's gonna give me zero track space. And he knew I was next to him. And... Was this my fault? I don't know. I don't think so and I really don't care. He was nothing but trouble. Okay, go ahead, beat me up in the comments. I can handle the truth. But I think I don't feel one pang of guilt for that. Okay, heading up here toward the Degners and we are up to seventh place already. This is going to be a great battle today. Looking right at the back of six. Got to be careful. And I think somebody is going around the outside of me. That was a masterful move. And Schnett, I guess is how you say that word. I don't know. Um, that was a great move right there around the outside. He never touched me once. That was really good. Careful going through here. And he's going to take it a little wide. And that will give me the opportunity to get my seventh place back as we head down the long back straight. And 
You gotta really be careful. You never know in a D lobby where people are gonna break. You know, those those A lobbies, they just follow each other right on through. But that was pretty good. We, we did that pretty well without uh, causing either of us any trouble. Carefully getting through the Casio Triangle. Somebody else uh, looking to the outside of me, but they're not gonna get that. And we'll be in seventh place again. Lap three now. A little tap. That was an accident. I took a bump from behind as well. Now, as we go through this corner, he gets a little sideways. I'm really excited about possibly getting this position and uh, took it off the track. And that's going to cost me not one, but two positions. And that was a simple case of me not racing the track. I got excited. I wanted to pass him. Did not race the track. Gave this guy a bump. Thankfully, Kev is going to hold it on the track because that would have been bad waiting for him. I would certainly have to wait for him and give him the position. So I'm glad he kept it going forward. And we will live to fight another day. Or another lap, anyway. So I'm here in ninth place looking at eight, seven, six, five, and four. So we're, let's call it a battle for fourth place. Someone has a penalty up there. Again, someone's wide, and we will... Oh, that was Chnet. <laughs> or whatever. Now, I don't know where to go here. I'm going to get behind Kev, because he appeared to be going maybe faster. Can I give him a bump draft, maybe? I don't know if I really actually touched him, but I'm getting a little worried going through here with all these people. And then this happens... Okay, I didn't cause that. I wasn't a part of it. I just survived. And that's good for me. Okay, taking up as much slipstream as I can down the front straight. Behind Billy Stingray. Let's just keep it on the track through here. Oh, get right up behind him. This isn't the place to make a move. But we'll just stay with him. ghosting. We'll take another position there. But then I get tapped by Chnet. And he just goes on by like nothing happened. And also Kev gets by me. Ah, oh, that wasn't very nice. Back down to P8. Still can see eight, seven, six, five, and four. So we're still keeping it with this group, and oh, thankfully, ghosting saved the day there. And lap five. Billy Stingray's having some trouble going off. As he comes back on, we'll take this position. Stay right on Kev's tail, heading into the hairpin. Now, Billy Stingray is going to ghost through me, and that's going to give him an advantage. If he had to go around me, he wouldn't be right next to me right now. I'm checking out the radar in the bottom center of the screen, and he is right next to me, and it looks like he's gaining this position. And I'll have to give him some space. I do, but checking the mirror, he goes off the track. That was 100% him. And we'll take uh, sixth place here 
as we head down the back straight. Gave up a little distance to Kev. Now lap six. I've caught up with them again. And then this happens in slow motion. I go off the track and all that hard work over the last lap is thrown out the window as they pull away from me. So I'm gonna fight and fight and fight and now up ahead of me Schnett dips his toes onto the grass and that's going to spin him out just at the end of the S's Kev is going to go by and then as I approach the area I'll go by him as well where is he there he is There's Kev up ahead, and we have about a lap and a half to catch up to Kev. And we're just going to work it, work it, work it. Race the track, stay calm. Now, the beginning of the last lap, I'm two, two seconds behind Kev. Let's see what I can do. Here's the distance. Okay, I've cut the gap to 1.7. Really, really trying to stay cool and race the track here. Down to 1.4 seconds now. Am I catching fast enough? I don't know. Ah, coming through here, I'm starting to feel good about this. Down to a six-tenths behind him. And we're going to make it right up to him here. Now I'm starting to think, okay, I have the pace. Where do I make the move? Coming up to Spoon Corner, am I going to be able to make a move there? Ah, that, that doesn't sound good to me. Make sure we'll put plenty of pressure on him. Stay patient. Really, really patient through here. And get on the accelerator as early as we dare. He does it too. Head down the back straight in the slipstream. Just a couple tenths behind him. As we head into 130R, It looks like he has a better line. He just took that a little better, starting to pull away. Well, it looks like it's going to be a P5 for me, and I, I can't complain. It was a great race. And Wait, wait, wait. He's gone wide in the Casio Triangle. I have a run on him. Coming up to the final corner, going around the outside. Can I do it? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Yes. Yes. Pull out P4 at the line. Nine hundredths of a second behind him. Oh, what? I never expected that. It was so great. Oh. Hey, you got to subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, you got to subscribe. Join us on this journey. It's going to be crazy. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time.